Hey church, it's Reverend John coming to you live from the attic. Some of you know that I've been uh, building a fence in my backyard over the last couple of weeks. It's almost done. It's afforded me an opportunity to get to know some of my neighbors. Well, people are curious, right? And when they hear things going on, they tend to poke around and see what's going on. I realized uh, pretty quickly that I actually didn't know my neighbors very well. Yeah, I've seen some of them as they go by, drive by in the morning or whatever, say hi as we go for a walk, but wow, who is my neighbor? Actually, I don't know very well. Well, this is a question for scripture. It's a big question, actually, that uh, Jesus engages with. It's a question that a lawyer puts to Jesus. Well, the first question he asks is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Now that's a big question. And Jesus plays around with him a little bit. Uh, of course, he it's almost a little sarcastic. He says, you know the answer, right? Look it up. It's in Deuteronomy. It's, um, well, it's chapter 6, verse 5, and in Leviticus uh, 19, verse 18. And so I can just imagine the fellow looking it up. He probably knew his scripture better than carrying around a Bible like some of us do. Something it says in there, though, triggers the man. It says, I must treat my neighbor as myself. Yeah, we've heard that one before. So he asks a follow-up question then. Who is my neighbor? Hmm. Who is my neighbor? Well, of course, the lawyer's thinking small, right? He's thinking about the people that live close by to him, his next-door neighbors, the people he works with, the people he cares for. But Jesus is taking this big question quite seriously, and he has a big answer. And that's when he tells the story of the Samaritan, right? About the Israelite who's walking alongside the road and who gets all of his money stolen. He gets beaten up and left on the side of the road, nearly dead. The folks who you might assume were his neighbors, the priest and the Levite, well, they pass by on the other side. And then... The Samaritan comes by. A good Samaritan? Everybody knows that Samaritans aren't good. They're other. They're different from us. How could they possibly be good? And yet the man understands. The Samaritan gets it. He knows what it means to be a neighbor. He gives his time, his energy, his care, even his money to help save the Israelite. He even comes back later to check on him and settle up any debts that he might have. Wow. So the answer is quite clear. Who is my neighbor? Well, it's the Samaritan. It's not someone close. It's someone far. Someone who we might be tempted to, to other. Someone who we might think of as different. So what must I do to inherit eternal life was the question. Well, be like the Samaritan. Understand what it means to reach out to your neighbors. That your neighbors just aren't the folks who are close by, although it includes them. It's not just the folks that live in your community, although it includes them too. This is a big question, and so it's a big answer. It includes everybody. We were charged to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. It's about salvation. It's about being in right relationship with God. And so if these are the kinds of big questions that we as Christians play around with, take seriously, then we need to take seriously Jesus' call to reach out beyond ourselves, to reach out to those who look different from us, who pray differently from us, who speak differently from us, who believe differently from us. What can we learn from them? What do we have to offer them? And maybe more importantly, what do we have to learn from them? Big questions, big answers from Jesus. These are the kinds of things that we as Christians need to dive deeply into. Because it's not actually about us. It's about how we live into God's world. Thy kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven.
Good news for the whole world. Good news for us. Good news for the community. May God bless you this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God be with you this day and forevermore. Amen.